Hi, it's Natasha. Thanks for joining me. I have a dumbbell Tabata. Some of the drills will be done with body weight and some will be done with dumbbells. Maybe have a couple different sizes of dumbbells if you have that available. We are doing some things like a lateral row and an upright row that you might go a little lighter than you would when you push the weight overhead. Um, we'll start with a quick warm up. We'll go into some of the time drills. It's eight exercises, 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. We'll take a longer break in between intervals and we'll repeat each round twice for a total of four Tabata rounds. Are you ready? Grab some water, your dumbbells, meet me on your mat for a quick warm up. Let's take a deep breath in, inhale, reach up to sky. Gentle back bend, pushing the hips forward, engaging the glutes, pulling the arms back, and then exhale, halfway fold. Elongate through the spine, send the tailbone back. Scoop in through the belly, let's inhale, reach arms up. Exhale back, feel free to bend the knees if you need to. Arms over, inhale, swim arms back, exhale. Inhale, fold, exhale back. Pull those arms wide and melt into a forward fold. Shake out the head. Let the body be heavy. Maybe the knees soften. Big breath in. Big sigh out. Come up halfway again. Spread those wings and then start to windmill across to opposite toe or maybe even beyond the toes. Getting a little deeper into that side body, the hamstrings. Keeping the core active. Two more. <sighs> lift and twist and lift. Bring the hands down. Pull your heels in and come down to a yogi squat. See how that feels for your hips and ankles? Always listening to your body. Pulling up through high heel and low heel. Rocking the hips side to side if that feels good. Use the elbows to pry the knees apart, stretching into the groin here. And then we'll take a couple thoracic twists. Hand behind head, elbow to sky, using your other arm to pull that knee open from the hip. And switch. Take a couple rounds of breath. And do one more set to each side. Feel free to linger a little longer if you need to. Perfect. From here, let's go ahead and just walk back to tabletop and move through some cat-cow. Inhale, we'll lift that chest, tailbone, exhale, round and push the mat forward. Inhale, lift, exhale, curl. Come into a neutral spine and we'll lower onto the elbows. Press into the fingers, rock the shoulders over the uh, fingertips for a wrist stretch. Rock forward. Rock back, elbows, hands, rock, press into those fingers, spread the fingers wide. This time we're going to walk those knees back and melt the hips into cobra. Give me some cobra rolls, maybe fingertips pressing forward, rolling up and down the spine, engaging the back body, glutes on, hamstrings on, heels to sky, linger in that back bend, and Press back onto the toes. We're going to sit on the feet, on the bottom of the toes, to stretch into the arches of the feet. It's totally fine if you're wearing shoes. I like to go barefoot sometimes and just really feel the ground underneath me. Either way is great. Let's take a couple quick lunges. One foot steps forward, drop into that hip. And then come up to a neutral 90-90 and tuck the pelvis so you feel the hip flexor and quad. We'll rock forward. Sink and then tuck, pull the belly towards the spine, hips to ribs, pelvic tilt. And switch. Step forward, shift your weight forward, knees over toe, lunge, feel the back hip flex your quad. And then tuck the pelvis and hit it at a different angle here. Pelvic tilt, 90 90, squeeze the glutes. Release. You'll feel this one also in the Achilles tendon, the ankle, knees over toes, 
Switching down the quad, and then pelvic tilt, hitting that hip flexor. Breathe. All right. All right, shake out those wrists, link the fingers a little bit. Give them some nice big circles and lengths. Shoulders, big circles, elbows, and then full backstroke. Uh, I think we are just about ready. Crisscross it out. If there's any last little stretches you know you want to do, go ahead and take that here. We start with a deadlift to upright row. You might go a little bit lighter just to get a feel for the first drill and still warming up. So I'm going to use my tens and then kind of see if when I want to pick up my 15s. All right, so we have deadlift, upright row. And then we're going to do a body weight, plank walk, command bell, elbow, elbow, hand, hand, walk back. Uh, lunge, bicep, curl, skaters. So we're going to alternate weights and body weight. Let's get into it. You will hear this 15 seconds to get yourself set up, get ready, pick up your weights, flat to back. Stand nice and tall, roll the shoulders back. Gently tuck the tailbone for neutral spine. Are you ready? Three, two, one. We have deadlift to upright. That's all we're doing for 30 seconds. You don't have to go at my pace. We're just timing the drills. On these drills today, I want you to use strength and not momentum on the dumbbell move. So as much as you can, just muscle up the weight as opposed to throwing up the weight. Use the breath. 10 seconds rest. 10 seconds rest, come to the back of your mat. Remember, it's a body weight drill. Plank walk, elevator. Go. Walk it out, hit your high plank. Right, left, right, left, walk back. You can come up all the way, halfway up, whatever you like. Plank walk out. Forearm, forearm. Try, try not to rock the hips too much. Really stabilize the move from your core. And those strong shoulders. So we have a lunge and then hammer head curl. Again, try not to use momentum on that curl. Exhale each one. Find a nice step back lunge. Weights by hips and then curl them up. We're going three skaters and a burpee. Jumping back, jumping in. You could do this on one foot or two. So, skate three. Either one foot, jump back, jump in, or both. Up to you. You don't have to jump any of it, or you can jump all of it. The skaters and the burpee. Stay and lift, single, single, double, 
and then rolling up. Trying not to use momentum on that first and last part. Roll down. You can use momentum here on the one, one, two. One more exercise, it's a push-up side plank dip, and then we'll repeat these one more time and you can make decisions about heavier or lighter weights. We are on a full minute of rest before we go back in for round two, which is just repeating those eight drills. Take time to walk around, stretch anything, maybe the wrists, hamstrings, shoulders, drink some water, and think about what weights you want to use for round two. Make some decisions. What weight do you want to use? I'm going to try to go heavier on round two, 15 for all the exercises. Here we go. Here's a 10 second countdown. Remember, it's a deadlift to an upright row. As much as possible, not using momentum with the weights. Tuck the tailbone, belly to spine, go. Deadlift, upright. Lunge, bicep, curl. Pick up those weights, it's quick. Lunge. You could do it 
two foot jump back on one foot. Take a break, drink some water, walk it out, stretch. Moving into our second and final round of drills. Eight again. If you prefer, if you're really efficient at kettlebells, all of these exercises could be done with a kettlebell. I'm going to use a single heavier dumbbell. Um, we start with swings high, low. So squat, swing high, squat, swing low. And we have some crab taps and crab reaches. So tap looks like that, reach looks like that. You get a nice stretch there. Uh, snatch to windmill, alternating. The windmill could just come halfway, elbow knee, unless you're like super flexible and want to go for the ground, that's okay too. And the snatch pulls all the way up the body with the weight. Again, if you're proficient in kettlebells, super fun to do these moves with kettlebells. Um, okay, we have a killer lunge, lunge, squat, cardio move. If you don't want to jump the lunges, just step into them or alternate. Uh, a get up into forearm side plank, long jump, plank walk back. A twist, uh, the last three will be body weight drills, lizard lunge twist. So some are kind of stretchy. We end with a superman, belly down, Pop up, push up to mountain climber. All right. 
That one's your rest. Pick your kettlebell or heavier dumbbell for swings. So we're holding it in both hands. If you have a dumbbell, we'll hold it the long way so we have a lot of space in between the legs. All right, 15 seconds to grab your dumbbell. You're gonna hike it back and thrust it forward. Momentum from the hips. Keep the chest long and lifted. Go. Swing high, swing low. The low swing is a squat swing. Hips forward, hips down and back. Breathe. Do not round the spine. If that squat swing feels too awkward, feel free to do regular swings the whole time.
one more. All the way down, Superman to mountain climbers. Back extension, press up, eight mountain climbers. Come down, reset. Back extension, hands by chest, press up, run. Push up through the lats and shoulder.
Two lunges, squat. It's not too much to think about. Right, left, then left, right. Momentum from the arms will help. Long jump, plank, plank walk back. Three more rounds to go, all body weight, you got this. Down. 
Walk on up. Come to a kneeling position. Woo. Take a deep breath in. Stretch now. One hand down, side stretch. Bend your elbows. Stretch up. Other hand down, side bend. Push your hips away, bend both elbows if possible. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna leave you here. Feel free to repeat any of the tabatas or to the longer uh, cool down stretching. Maybe hit some more abs. Either way, have a wonderful day. Let me know how it went. Always leave me a comment so I know you were here and it helps me tremendously. Thumbs up if you got sweaty and had fun. Thanks so much. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.